And it is back after a couple of weeks holiday and it is time to... Ask an expert. I see we're still paying big bucks for the jingle. And our expert today is clinical hypnotherapist Rebecca Armstrong from Shine Hypnosis. Welcome, Rebecca. Hi. Now, a lot of people, when they think hypnosis, they think performance. They think someone's up on stage and you're making them eat an onion thinking it's an apple. But that's not what you do, is it? No. Stage hypnosis is designed for entertainment, whereas clinical hypnotherapy is about making changes at the subconscious level to achieve a goal. So overcoming a phobia, feeling more relaxed and calm during childbirth, something like that. And fortunately, I can help you achieve that without you having to cluck like a chicken. Well, that's the thing, because people always have that in the back of their head, don't they? Yeah. I've been stage hypnotised before, and what I found about it was I knew what I was doing, but I still felt compelled to do what he told me to do. Um, and I did have to cluck like a chicken, by the way, too. That was one of the things <laughs> I did make you do. So clinical hypnotherapy, what is it like? It's actually really relaxing, and it's not too much different for me talking to you now, except obviously your eyes will be closed. My voice gets way more relaxing. You'll be aware of everything I'm saying and aware of your surroundings, however they might start to fade into the background as you become more absorbed in your inner world. Yeah. Um, a little bit like when you daydream. Okay, so what kind of things can you help me with? Um, I specialise in phobias, fertility and childbirth, but you can pretty much help with anything because your subconscious mind is the part of your mind that's responsible for your habits, your beliefs, your fears. So. A lot of people do it to lose weight or stop smoking yeah. too, don't they? So uh, people have written and they're very sceptical. They say, well, you know, that's all very well and good, but I couldn't be hypnotised. Can everybody be hypnotised? A lot of people think that. Um, really, anyone can be hypnotised as long as they're able to follow simple instructions. So you wouldn't hypnotise a toddler. But you'd be surprised to know, Mel, a lot of people um, experience hypnosis on an everyday basis. So have you ever read a really good book or movie or lost track of time? Yes. Driven to your destination and felt like you got there and you're on autopilot? Yes. Gone to sleep? <laughs> Woken up? Because you experience those alpha and theta yeah. brainwaves during the sleep cycle as well. Wow. So we experience hypnosis during everyday basis quite regularly. Okay, so talk me through it. How, how does it work? So I come to see you for a session. How does the session play out? You just sit here and talk to me and your voice gets really calming and then I come out of it and I am no longer scared of snakes? Yeah, something like that. So to start with we'll have a little bit of a chat and then during the hypnosis session I relax you into hypnosis. And the beautiful thing about the way we work is it's a really gentle approach so you don't have the trauma of having to face your fear head on because we do it in a really gentle way. And hypnosis itself is very relaxing so you do it in a relaxed way so even though we're dealing with a fear, you remain pretty relaxed throughout the whole session. So with the childbirth thing, say is this for people who are scared of giving birth and you help them relax through the whole process? It's about feeling more relaxed and comfortable but we're kind of born comfortable as you can be. Comfortable <laughs> as you can be. But there is this belief that childbirth has to be painful so we confront that well. So it could be someone who's had a traumatic childbirth, it could be someone who's anxious about childbirth or it could just be someone who um, doesn't want to go down the drug route so we can help them with comfort control techniques so they don't have to go down that route if they don't want to. So on the, on the whole how long would it take or how many sessions would people need with you to get some help and how would they know that they've had that help? How would you know that it's worked? <laughs> so for example you said snakes, you'd know it would work because um, I wouldn't do you'd that, be able to, talk yeah, about Exactly them. and you'd be able to look at a picture of a snake and, and be quite surprised about how relaxed and calm you are and maybe be curious about the patterns and the colours on a snake. Okay, so that's how you work out that's because I don't think I just got feel a, different. Not a yeah. phobia about them, but oh, they just creep me out a bit. So maybe it is a bit of a little, phobia. Yeah. So how many sessions do you think would it take? Uh, generally, phobias is just three sessions. Uh, birth hypnosis is six, uh, five sessions to do the full program. And fertility? That's probably fertility a whole... is is how long is a piece of a string because there's a whole lot of different things involved in fertility. We so. should get you back to talk about that because I think that's going to be really interesting for a whole lot of people. So what is it going to cost me to get this um, phobia cured, roughly? Roughly. So most clinical hypnotherapists charge between. 140 to 200 for a session and that can be between a 60 to 90 minute session um, and if you're doing something longer like phobias or birth uh, sorry fertility or childbirth uh, there are concessions for that. Thank you so much for coming in Rebecca and for answering all of our questions as well and if you would like to know more about her treatments including help with childbirth head along to the website shinehypnosis.co.nz.